is a stressful experience. High stakes, Jason. Absolutely. Baid is the only one of these horses with the power and potential to match what Frankel did 10 years ago. All yours, Richard. Chin dipped about to move in. Angel Blur the same. Cata Sussex takes over one mile. Baid, one to six. Now for three, 11 to one, Morton Games 12s. And we are all set. And they're off. Racing in the Cat of Sussex Stakes. Matter and Leon just dipped as the stalls opened, along with Chindit and Modern Games. They are the first three to go, but the Japanese Raider is setting a reasonable gallop as they race through the first furlong. Matter and Leon has the advantage from in second, Chindit racing in second place. In third is Order of Australia, who is racing on the outside of Modern Games. Behind these is Alcohol Free, who settles alongside Baid. They race in fifth and sixth place, respectively, and Angel Blur is at the back of the pack. So making their way up the hill, Bathrun Bayon it is who leads from Chindin in second place. Racing in third up on the outside is Order of Australia of Modern Games. Baid on the outside of Alcohol Free, who settled pretty well in the maroon and blue colours, or the purple and blue colours of Jeff Smith and Angel Blur at the back. So Bathrun Bayon is setting a reasonable gallop, leading by a length from Chindit, third place for Modern Games, as they now make their way towards the final three and a half furlongs at the Cata Sussex Stakes. Modern Games in third, Order of Australia. Alcohol free, Baid still being held on to, as they'll shortly reach the cutaway, where the options, particularly for alcohol free, will increase an angel blur at the back of the pack. So Bathrat Leon it is who leads. Chindin in second place, Baid now begins to improve smoothly. Alcohol free going amongst horses. Bathrat Leon kicks from the front once again with a furlong and a half to go. Baid just having to be gathered up with Modern Games between them and Chindit. Bathrat Leon has given a really bold sight here as they enter the final burn. Long Bae just having to be shaken up against the game control and Bae stretching out to win in weapon like fashion. Bae still unbeaten, so what modern games out of three. That's where they are Angel Blur, Chindit, and all of all Australia. It's sort of serene destruction from Bae, but that wasn't as brutal as it had been. The Japanese Raider set a good pace, kicked on, and was still in front of Furlong and a half or so. If anything, Bae getting even more laid back as that winning sequence extends. He made his ground smoothly enough, but there had to be a shake here before he got to the front. In the end, he was well on top. It is Baid who won the Cat of Sussex Stakes, remains unbeaten, and probably, despite the quality of the field, tougher challenges will await. Modern Games in second, Bathrat Leon, alcohol free, a full alcohol free, just nailed Bathrat Leon in the final stride, and that is indeed what has happened. Alcohol free, Bathrat Leon, it ran really well for Japan, Angel Blur, and chinned it. Baid, one to six favourite, smooth enough, but ten furlongs. That may be where we're heading next. Just as Frankel did. There he is, easy as you like. Nine out of nine is correct. First impression, Jason. First impression, oh my word, what can he do over a mile and a quarter? It is going to be spectacular. He jumps, he switches off. He was set a bit of a target. We're approaching the furlong marker. Jim, Jim, are you going to ask him a question? And he gives, gives him one little reminder as to what is required. And he goes and opens up in the closing stages. And look at the ears. Look at this. Switch leads as he got to the front. Thank you very much. He's becoming much more that model. He goes there and just does enough. Nine races, nine wins, so it's not win and place prize money, but he just smashed through the two million barrier today. And with a view to the next mission, Jason, I'd say the team will be absolutely delighted. They rode him a small bit quieter today. He relaxed lovely, made up his ground easy. Jim may have went out hoping not to have to pick up his stick, but he gave him three in the end. As you see here, his head carriage changes, let lay on, he's jamming on, he's got the job done. Pulls up at the bottom, pulls a pose, making good horses look very ordinary, Ed. But they're going to bring Baid in front of the grandstand. Hopefully there'll be a, a big round of applause for the world's top-rated racehorse. The crowd getting going here. Jim, if you're the school teacher and this is your pupil, how would you write the report on that race? Oh, listen, he's one of those... He just does what he has to. He's like his sire. Um, and if you saw just before the winning run, he pricked his ears and completely shut down with me. He's just... Just a pleasure to be a part of the journey. I mean, He's never going to be exuberant, I've been by 10 minutes. But the feeling I got off him between the three and the two, 
no horse could give you that sort of feel. Can you try and describe it for us? Because you've ridden all types of horses. When you look at him, he's just a normal horse. There's nothing different about him to any other horse. What is it that he produces for you that most horses don't? He's got everything, Matt. He's got a turn of foot. You can put him anywhere in a race. You can make the run. You can drop him out. You can just... Good horses like that. He just... He ticks all the boxes. And obviously, look, it's going to be really interesting when he goes mile and a quarter next time. And looking forward to it. Well, let's have that conversation then, because here at Goodwood, in these colours, you've ridden a worldy sprinter in Batash. You're riding the greatest miler on the planet, the greatest horse currently on the planet in this horse. What about the greatest horse over a mile and a quarter as well? Well, me, couldn't he? You know, it's, if you can show that turn of foot over a mile and a quarter, he switches off, he relaxes. Just, yeah, it could well be. Jim Crowley, 19 years ago, he won his first graded race, a chase in Italy. Now he's on the world's top-rated flowers.